Hello my dearest WordPress lovers, in today's tutorial we are going to create a login form pop-up, so be attentive, let's start! In order to start creating, first you need to click on Add New, after we are going to choose the pop-up type. So Popup Box offers 10 plus pop-up types, however today we are going to choose the login form and then you can choose ready-made templates, uh, there are several of them, you can mix and match, we are going to choose to try the frozen theme and after that you can see it's general settings, so in the general settings you can see that by default your pop-up is already enabled and then you can write down pop-up title uh, after pop-up title you have to move on to where you are going to display your pop-up for example on all pages except means that you can exclude some pages and include means that you can include posts and pages I'm going to choose the all pages one and then you can write down pop-up description if needed. Um, for pop-up title you can choose sign in, login, uh, however you want it to be and then uh, pop-up triggers. So for pop-up triggers, pop-up box offers three main types which are on page load on click pop-ups and exit intent pop-ups however you can also choose both and display your pop-up both on click or on button click or on page load I'm going to choose the page load one and uh, after that you have to choose your pop-up position um, one more thing so the CSS selector function is for um, on button click type so we are going to skip this step and when it comes to pop-up position again you can position your pop-up however you want for example I'm going to position mine right in the middle of my page after comes the settings section so in the settings section you can configure your pop-ups opening and closing functions for example for example you can write down an open delay closing delay you can uh, choose several closing types uh, I'm going to just disable auto close delay so that my pop-up will not close by itself and um, in the advanced settings you can choose um, whether or not you want to display social media links or you can even schedule your pop-up and um, disable scrolling even so the next step is our style section, this is where you brand your pop-up, you can uh, decide whether you want to display your pop-up's title or description or you can display both of them, I'm going to choose show description and then you can configure your pop-up's dimensions, it's width height and uh, mobile height, our pop-up box is very mobile friendly so you can create mobile friendly pop-ups as strange as it might sound and we have your content styles text color font family whatever you need and in the style section you can also uh, put a background image to your pop-up uh, you have to click on add background and then you can upload file or choose one from your media library and upload it and um, you can also write down custom CSS if there is anything that you want to change on your pop-up and you are unable enabled to do it in the functions. So dear users, this is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it as quick as possible. And also do not forget to leave a like and comment your video ideas or any questions that you have. Also, if you are not subscribed, do not forget to click on subscribe button and hit your notification bell. Stay tuned. Goodbye.